good morning children today we are going to discuss about another important concept in the female reproductive system that is menstrual cycle are also called sexual cycle what is this one sexual cycle or menstrual cycle before going to to discuss about the menstrual cycle or sexual cycle today just previous class inter uh, for topics we discuss you know what is fertilization combination of male and female gametes is called fertilization if that fertilization internally happen in the sense internal fertilization fertilization takes place in the fallopian tube so a single sperm enter into the egg and a zygote will be formed zygote after blastula marula like that uh, cleavages will be there last uh, embryo fetus will be developed so embryo implantation attachment of embryo towards the uterine wall is called implantation then placenta then umbilical cord like that <coughs> parturition gestation period parturition we discussed in the previous classes right in this class we are going to discuss about complete menstrual cycle in a human female so sexual cycle begins when a girl attain puberty first question first point is the sexual cycle begins at the puberty that's called this cycle is also called okay which is kind of commonly known as what is commonly known as it's commonly known as menstrual cycle what do you call it's commonly known as menstrual cycle in ovaries so it is what is important menstrual cycle so reproductive organs where it will be in which reproductive may female reproductive organ parts what are those ovaries and the uterus so events <coughs> in this cycle where the events will be takes place in the female reproductive organs what are those ovaries and the uterus this cycle will be takes place under the control of very very important word again one more word important bit sex hormones what are those sex hormones you know very well estrogen progesterone oxytocin okay you know follicle stimulating hormone f s h and l h remember this all the names what i am telling should listen carefully so menstrual cycle in ovaries in uterus who events will be takes place these events under the control of sex hormones estrogen and progesterone and pituitary gland hormones what are those follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone 1 2 3 4 so estrogen progesterone follicle stimulating hormone luteinizing hormone remember these names estrogen progesterone follicle stimulating hormone luteinizing hormone like that for hormones plays a very important role in this menstrual cycle every 28 days once this cycle will be takes place so every 28 days marked by bleeding what do you called menstrual flow at an every interval of every 28 days single egg will be released from either of two ovaries either one left ovary or right ovary whatever it may be from one ovary egg will be released every 28 days duration so after 28 days egg will be not fertilized means what will happen egg will be come out through bleeding and menstrual flow will be takes place so how many single egg one ovary one month one egg another ovary another egg will be generated by this ovaries that is a important point so here another important word we have to the inner wall of uterus what is the inner wall of uterus endometrium myometrium perimetrium like that is there here the endometrium is there it's a highly vascular it's highly blood vessels connected so and ready to receive the fetus in that particular period after or in the men menstrual phase after ovulation <coughs> so if zygote is not formed the mechanism is what zygote is not formed the endometrium is there or not highly vascular part will be there and which causes bleeding through vagina that is only called what is called that is called menstruation that is called menstruation if fertilized after if fertilization occurs and zygote is formed then the embryo gets implanted so zygote forms suppose fertilization happened 
embryo gets implanted in the uterus right until the birth there is no so there is no menstruation and no egg will be released once the fertilization will be taken until the birth okay non nor menstruation takes place what is called nor menstruation takes place menstruation usually occurs 14 days after her okay when the egg will be released 14 days or oh, in the menstrual cycle 14 days after ovulation it lasts 3 to 5 days the egg will be there after menstruation is over the broken part of inner lining of uterus gets repaired so once menstrual cycle over proliferative phase ovulation phase secretory phase after again the broken part of inner lining of uterus endometrium get repaired and uterus once again becomes ready to receive the next embryo like that the menstrual total events is called menstruation like that will be there so the first menstruation is girl after attaining which one menarche the puberty what is called puberty it will be first menstruation is called menarche first menstruation is called menarche and uh, menopause so after 45 to 50 uh, 55 years there is uh, no uh, menstruation that is called menopause the mark is end of the reproductive life of women so menopause is when it what is called 45 to 55 that is end of the what they call reproductive life of the woman so regulated hormonal systems are very important i said no estrogen progesterone follicle stimulating hormone luteinizing hormone very important for the menstrual cycle so this is about menstrual cycle so bleeding phase menstrual phase proliferative phase a uh, follicular phase ovulatory phase what is called secretory phase like that four phases are there every 28 days once the cycle will be repeat so this is called what do you call this is called menstrual cycle what do you call menstrual cycle okay this one point you have to remember so next reproductive health reproductive health world health organization total well-being in all aspects of reproduction physical emotional social behavioral changes is called reproductive health so overpopulation so the person who world according to world health organization what is reproductive health that is a question so the person who have total well-being in all aspects of reproduction physical emotional social behavioral perfectly is behavior in the sense that will be called reproductive fitness so why should we have to discuss about reproductive health why because there will be some problems are there in India. What are those to do overpopulation and sexual transmitted diseases? How the diseases will be spread from one person to another person through the sex? Sex education in the schools important to control the population and birth control devices, care of mother and child, so prevention of sex abuse and sex related crime, so population control and contraception methods. In this kind of uh, what you call concepts are there for the healthy and perfect what you called uh, India compulsory we should have to discuss to educate the people to avoid the these many problems like uh, overpopulation and especially sexually transmitted diseases and population control okay so contraceptive methods also we can discuss in this okay children once again should listen about the sexual cycle so we are discussing about which one sexual cycle so begins at the puberty that is called menarche menarche means the puberty in the puberty the sex cycle will be start that is called menarche end with the 45 to 55 years that is called menopause so menstrual cycle in where events will be takes place where in the ovaries and the uterus where the menstrual cycle events will be so in the uterus events will be there and uh, in the what you called the hormones regulations most important for the menstrual cycle so without hormones regulation without hormone function without hormones there is no what you called menstrual cycle compulsory hormones regulation is must ensured what are the four hormones involved in the menstrual cycle that is the first question there are four hormones involved in the menstrual cycle number one estrogen progesterone these are the 
what is called ovary and hormones number 2 pituitary gland hormones what are the pituitary gland hormones luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone so what are those estrogen progesterone follicle stimulating hormone luteinizing hormone estrogen progesterone follicle stimulating hormone luteinizing hormone mainly affects the which one the sexual cycle so this cycle every 28 days it will be formed so bleeding or menstrual flow every 28 days bleeding or menstrual flow will be there so through that the menstrual flow we will see a, a single egg so this single egg may be come from the right ovary or left ovary so two ovaries are there no either one 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 month one ovary another month another alternate so like that a single egg will be come so you know the uterus lining is there uterus is there not uterus lining there is a endometrium remember this word there is endometrium is there it's highly vascular and ready to receive the fetus in this particular sexual cycle if zygote is formed they are ready to receive the fetus if zygote not formed zygote is not formed then endometrium breaks which causes bleeding through the vagina that is only called this whole process only called what is called menstruation we called menstruation the zygote once the zygote uh, embryo fertilization takes place the zygote embryo gets implanted into uterus till the birth of the child neither any further egg is released from ovary nor menstruation takes place means once the fertilization takes place once the fertilization takes place there is no means zygote formed in the sense there is no egg released from ovary nor menstruation takes place no egg releasing no menstruation it's a 14 days what is called uh, like that there will be no menstruation process there so after in the menstrual 28 days right after 14 days first 14 days ovulation will be there ovulation phase will be there this ovulation egg will be released or ova will be released from the ovaries so it's the last how many days this is 3 to 5 days after menstruation is over the broken part of inner lining of uterus gets repaired so okay after menstruation completed so proliferate uh, what you call menstrual flow completed estrogen follicular follicular phase completed ovulation phase completed secretory phase completed so again what will happen the once the menstruation over <coughs> over so the broken part is there now that line endometrial lining is ready to get uterus gets repaired and uterus once again become ready to receive the next embryo so repairing uh breaking repairing breaking repairing breaking process will be takes place until 45 to 55 years so uterus gets repaired and it and uterus once again becomes ready to receive so next embryo will be takes place here the two terms are very important in this concept what is the need bit here need bit what is the smallest phase in the menstrual cycle ovulation phase how many 13 to 14 to 3 to 5 days how many days in the 14 days after menstrual ovulation phase will be there so menarche means what puberty menopause means what do you call ceases the what do you call puberty menstruation means there is a reproductive end of the woman menopause means reproductive life will be end so regulated by complete this menstrual cycle as it were regulated by which one hormonal systems what are the hormones estrogen progesterone follicle stimulating hormone luteinizing hormone what are the completely hormonal regulated completely hormones regulated system this uh, menstrual cycle what are the hormones two are from estrogen and progesterone from ovarian hormones okay and uh, follicle stimulating hormone and uh, luteinizing hormone what are those follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone directly from pituitary gland they regulates the menstruation cycle so next next con that is about reproductive uh, what is called menstrual cycle the next concept is reproductive health so our reproductive health why should we have to discuss about reproductive health why because the healthy india if you want healthy generation if you want we should have to discuss about reproductive health according to the world health organization 
according to the world health organization reproductive health means what is the definition of reproductive health so here the reproductive health means total well being in all aspects of reproduction total well being in all aspects of reproduction means physical emotional social and the behavior some of the aspects included okay behavior some of the aspects this is when the person physically fit emotionally fit socially fit behaviorally fit social behaviorally fit okay then that fellow will be called reproductively healthy so all aspects of reproduction total well being in all aspects of reproduction like physical emotional social behavior and so what you call some of the aspects included and required to be studied under the reproductive health some more aspects are there these are we have to study under reproductive health so why i said no perfect india healthy india we want to get in the sense we have to get develop the we have to read or we have to create awareness in the pub, awareness in the public about these also what are those about over population it's too bad because of that only every problem in the country and sexual transmitted diseases aids venereal syphilis such kind of problems are there due to lack of knowledge and sex education is important to control the what you call population and what you called the sexual transmitted diseases and birth control devices so to control the population we have to this use one we have to create awareness in the public care of mother and child so after the delivery how what kind of care should have to take for the young babies and what kind of care should have to take about the mothers that is a must and should otherwise if you didn't take care, proper care both will be die and also both uh, dangerous problems will come so that's why prevention uh, care of mother and child is also important next one prevention of sex abuse and sex related crime if we have to control the if we give complete awareness about the sex related issues we can control the prevention of sex abuse sex related crime and uh, another important one population control also we have to discuss and we have to use a good contraceptive methods to control the population we have to so in this video what are the need bits are there in this so number 1 what are the hormones important for the menstrual cycle number 1 i said what i called estrogen number 1 is estrogen then progesterone okay progesterone next follicle stimulating hormone follicle stimulating hormone next luteinizing hormone these are very important lh luteinizing hormone so these hormones are the very important for the menstrual cycle that is the first need bit second need bit in this class in this video how many days the ovulation phase in the menstrual cycle 3 to 5 days the shortest shortest phase which one is there in the menstrual phase menstrual cycle means ovulation phase next what is the menarche it's a first menstrual cycle start in the puberty what is menopause seasons of menstrual cycle these all are one the most important bits and what is the definition of the reproductive healthy person that is a, another important bit the person total well being in all aspects of reproduction physical emotional social behavioral social behavioral if he is fit in the sense that fellow will be a well being or healthy person will be there so like this the neat bits also will be there in this cycle definitely you should have to remember exam point of view these all concepts are very very useful okay children so next class we will discuss about contraceptive methods so what are the barrier methods what are the chemical methods what are the surgical methods these all contraceptive methods we will be discuss in the next class okay children thank you